Hey everyone, it's Sin. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. That's like channel mojo. <sighs> Gotta get my own intro going. I don't want to. Because you're asking for it. You're dying for it. Hey everyone, it's Sin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on all the things you need to know before deciding that you want to do a psychology degree. Because let me tell you, it's a hard life. It's a hard choice. Just for some context, if you're new here, I am a final year, fourth year student at the University of Birmingham. Have I got lipstick on my teeth? No. Wow, look at my brain. It has been a long road. Four years has actually gone pretty quickly. I feel now that I'm at the end of my journey, I'm just about to graduate. I can tell you guys all that you need to know before you make that decision and you decide whether psychology is the right degree for you and the right career choice for you. So I'm going to break this video down into a few different sections. Do I know the sections yet? No, because I'm a scatterbrain and I haven't planned this video out properly, but I will leave all of the different timestamps for different parts of this video in the description box below. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button, click the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Just for some background, I think you guys should know a little bit more about me and my journey into psychology and why I actually chose to do a psychology degree and why I'm choosing to pursue a career in psychology because... Girl, sometimes even I ask myself what I'm doing. I have always been quite gifted in school. I was good at all of my subjects. So I was in a position where I was like, right, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna pursue further? And what should I really invest my time in? And I'm a type of person where I'm very indecisive. I'm a Libra. So my choice to study psychology was actually very personal. My close family has been affected quite a lot with mental health issues. And I am obviously from a South Asian background. I'm a brown woman. In my community, I feel like mental health isn't really spoken about enough. So I knew when I was like 16 or 17 that this was gonna be my career. I was gonna be a clinical psychologist and I was gonna achieve what I wanted to achieve and help people in disadvantaged communities from ethnic minorities just help people like me, like my family, like my friends who never got access or help for mental health services. The first thing I want to stress to you guys is that if you genuinely want to do a psychology degree, it's not just going to be about reading minds and knowing what the person in front of you is thinking and you know, I studied a psychology degree so I know that you're lying to me, like absolutely not. People lie to me all the time. I'm gullible still. But what you will gain from a psychology degree is the science behind our behavior, knowing why we sometimes feel a certain way, why people may act in a certain way. And if you can see from that poster behind me, that's some of the research that I've been doing. So you do get a chance in a majority, I wanna say in maybe all universities, to study something. So you can go into the biology side of things. It's just a very diverse, massive subject and I think by studying psychology you do open a lot of doors. Keep in mind that you know you won't be studying just one thing. Have a look online at the syllabuses. A majority of unis are accredited by the British Psychological Society. So that's the BPS here in England. In different countries they have different boards. Here in England if you want to continue your psychology career it is really important to make sure that your university has an accredited degree and that is what you want to look out for when you're going and looking at different courses and open days. My university, the University of Birmingham, have an accredited degree. Where I studied on my year abroad, the University of Sydney, they had an accredited degree from the APS. I think it's really important if you want to go forward because you can't go forward and have a career in psychology if you haven't got that accreditation beforehand in your undergraduate year. The major thing that people tend to forget when they're doing a psychology degree and going for a career in psychology is just how difficult it is. Now, I can't talk for all of the different careers you can take. You can be become a forensic psychologist, you can become an occupational psychologist, you can go into social work, it opens so many doors, like I mentioned previously. If you want to go into a specific field, so I'll use my field as an example, clinical psychology, you have years and years and years of studying ahead of you. I underestimated how much studying I can actually take. Just to break it down for you guys, you would obviously do your GCSEs in England. I'm talking for England because that's where I'm from. I don't know how long your GCSEs last. It's been a decade ago now. And then you'll do your A-levels, which is two years. Then you'll do your undergraduate, which is normally three years, minus four years because I did a study abroad year. Then you will most likely wanna do a master's, which is a year or two years, depending on the course you choose. 
and then you'll have to do a doctorate which is three years so all in all it's a lot of studying and I know for different career pathways in psychology you need work experience in between those studying periods to get the job you want. You need to make sure you've had clinical experience because without these things even if you've got a master's degree behind you you will not get onto the doctorate. So it is a very scary process you're not sure if you're gonna actually get onto the doctorate to be qualified in the first place and a master's is very expensive let me tell you it is expensive. There's a lot of studying a lot of money going into it. In a way Way, it is kind of a disadvantage to some people because if you don't have the connections you won't get that clinical experience. Another thing that I want to talk about is the fact that for me a person who loves studying and who has got a lot out of the education system it can get a lot sometimes. Psychology degree at a good university is hard and I want to put that out there now it is in no way a soft degree or an easy degree. You will come to figure that out if you do a psychology degree or if you've done one. Do you do statistics? You do biology? You do a whole range of different subjects in one and I feel like the amount of information that you learn is quite heavy and depending on your university the way that you get assessed and things can be quite challenging too. Just keep in mind that you will have a lot of studies which are quite difficult in nature for a long period of time. Okay I feel like I have given quite a few disadvantages and kind of scared a few people off by this point but I'm gonna stop and kind of give you guys some advantages now of studying a psychology degree. More, si more advantages of why you should study a psychology degree. I can't speak. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some more advantages. Obviously I've told you that it opens loads of doors. I have friends that have studied psychology for their undergrad and have stopped in the psychology field and have actually gotten work in marketing, in finance, in loads of different sectors. Open so many doors because you learn about so many different aspects of human behaviour. I think that's kind of one of the main reasons why people study a psychology degree really. You'll be surprised because they don't really know what to do so it is a good kind of degree to do if you want to explore your options and get a degree at the same time. Another thing that I would like to mention is that studying a psychology degree I feel like you do meet people, you have experiences, especially when you do things like work experience, you will meet people that have a whole load of different stories and will teach you a lot of different things. During my undergrad degree I met some amazing, amazing friends and they all had their own personal experiences with mental health and you kind of bond over that and you kind of bond over your love for psychology and keep in mind I never did psychology as an A-level so I had no idea that it was so broad and there were so many different aspects to it so it does really open up your mind. I think I've been rambling for a little bit so I'm going to try and conclude the video up here and kind of give you some concluding statements, some summarising points on whether you should do a psychology degree and what the pros and cons are. Definitely say for pros it opens a lot of doors in terms of career choices and options. Secondly I'm a little bit biased in saying this but you learn about such cool different things, you get the chance to read different articles, different research, it's never boring. A lot of people that didn't even really have a solid reason for studying psychology by the end of their psychology degree they really did enjoy it. When you study psychology it sort of makes you get a different perspective on why things are the way they are or why certain people behave in the way they do. I always say when you're studying a psychology degree don't self-diagnose and don't diagnose other people and you know don't kind of apply it to your life immediately but you can't help but do that and I feel like since I have been studying psychology a lot more things have been making sense scientifically and logically so I do think that it just does teach you a lot and it has a lot of real life world application even if you don't go on and use that degree further. And finally I'd like to say that by studying a psychology degree yes you have the chance to work amazing jobs like a forensic psychologist, a clinical psychologist, the list goes on but you have the chance to get into fields like that which you otherwise wouldn't if you haven't done a psychology degree. So now on to the cons of the degree sort of cons you could call it that. The first one is that it's a long long process. If you want to actually use that psychology degree unlike medicine where it's like five years of med school and then you go into your two-year training that doesn't happen with psychology if you want to be a clinical psychologist 
for example, I'm using that specifically here, but you are looking at competing with a lot of people who have their undergrad degree, many of whom have come out with a first, many of whom may have parents who are psychologists or know people who are psychologists and have had hands-on experience with mental health patients and, you know, in mental health wards. So it is really, really competitive and it gets increasingly competitive each year. In the UK, mental health services are underfunded and continue to be underfunded, which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So it is hard to get a job in clinical psychology and it's hard to get that profession. So you have to work your ass off and compete with a lot of people for many years. I know that on average it takes, I think, around four to seven years to get onto a clinical doctorate. You are very, very lucky if you get onto a clinical doctorate straight away. And following on from that, a lot of people don't have the money when they come from underprivileged backgrounds or you know they've had parents that didn't go to uni or siblings that didn't go to uni they are unaware that a master's degree costs so much with the psychology field and with clinical psychology specifically you need to pretty much have a master's degree to have a fighting chance of getting onto the doctorate if you don't have that much hands-on experience with clinical groups the money for a master's is also something to consider the money for living wherever you are for your master's as well so it is a lot of money a lot of years studying and a lot of years competing and that can be draining and i'm talking from personal experiences you guys have seen in my many vlogs where i document me studying studying and stuff. I sometimes just don't feel like doing work and I just feel so bogged down because I know how much further I've got to go. Just ask yourself, can you study for that long and can you be motivated for that long? Because if you are just motivated by the salary or the money at the end of the day, that just won't be enough. So I hope that video was really helpful for you guys and it kind of gave you a broad overlook on whether you should do a psychology degree. I would love to answer any of your questions down in the comments below. Also, go ahead over to my social media. If you wanna to talk to me privately, you can do over there. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. I make videos of my journey to becoming a clinical psychologist, my journey studying, my journey through life, basically. So go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see more from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you again, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. This shit way too formal, y'all know I